Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Talita from Brazil. I'm really glad to stay here, learning, share with some amazing people, and for the invitation for the Filecoin Green Team to stay here today, sharing about our work with them. Uh, I think that uh, maybe a lot of people have problems when they have to discard their old electronics. I don't know. Have you ever been confused about how to discard your old electronics? I think uh, that uh, a lot of people had, have this problem, and I had this problem too in the past. I'm here with Marcelo. Uh, Marcelo is building all the super cool things in Gaia Web App, integrating Web 2 and Web 3. And today I am sharing a little bit about uh, how we are using IPFS and Recycle to reboot our take, make and disposal model that we have today in our world. I'm a granddaughter of recyclers and since I was a child, I always thinking about how I can make money with the trash and avoid this pollution. And when I was uh, studying materials and manufacturing engineering, I had a problem to discard my old, old electronics. I didn't find any solution in Brazil. Then I started to dig in, in this area and I discovered a huge global problem. Nowadays, almost 80% of all electronic waste in the world has uncertain fate. What is electronic waste? A uh, headphone to refrigerators is e-waste. Uh, everything that we can use like uh, with a battery or cable, electric cable, uh, when this uh, become useless, you be the e-waste or electronic waste. And we want to change this reality because this number that you can see on the screen is rising so fast in the world right now. We are uh, generating more than 60 billion kilos of e-waste each year. And for try to imagine these numbers, imagining 6,000 Eiffel Towers in the equ equivalent weight in e-waste. And why we have to solve this so fast as possible? Because we are losing billions of dollars in raw materials each year. Um, we have a lot of important materials in electronics, critical minerals, uh, precious metals. And this composition is super complex because we have plastic, glass, metals, and this requires a super specialized um, technology to recycle. And if we don't do this properly, um, we can damage our environmental and the people's health because uh, e-waste can be toxic when they end up in the nature. And um, here we are seeing uh, a, United Nations report um, sharing that the electronic waste is rising five times faster than the formal recycling. Then we have to change this so fast as possible. And this is happening because we are trying to produce infinitely with infinity resources and this won't work anymore. And okay, but is, this is a huge problem, a huge challenge. And how we can put this on the ground and think where we can start to change this. And for us, um, we are seeing that the chain is disconnected. Then if we can find common interests in each part of this chain, and put everybody together, maybe we can change this reality. And we have customers, we have manufacturers, retailers, policymakers, and they have a lot of different interests, but they have a common interest too. 
then this uh, is the opportunity to solve the problem about the lack of, of information that we have today and improve the transparency around the e-waste recycling to avoid the frauds that we are seeing in our sector and inefficiency. Because sometimes we saw reports, like Mark just said, uh, we can trust in these numbers. We don't know. Sometimes the numbers is misleading. And this could be solved if we can uh, have some uh, global integrating platform with the, all the data that we need. And in Gaia, we see the e-waste is a decentralized microsource of raw materials. It's spread in the house of all over the world, the people, and we can reduce our um, carbon emissions through recycling because we will demand less energy to produce new products, and this will be avoid we will avoid emissions. And this will reduce the pressure from natural resource and uh, reduce the toxic waste on the planet and all the social and environmental impact related with this. Okay, then this is a huge problem, but um, we can uh, start it for some step and Gaia decided uh, started our work dividing phase and now we are working with the users customers like us we that we are here today and we simplify recycling matching companies and users and we connected the user e-waste with the specialized recycler uh, we decided to do this super easy funny with the gamification uh, to um, generating the final of the process, recycling and carbon credits, uh, because we have all the traceability about the process. Uh, Marcelo will show in a few minutes a uh, demo, uh, then you can visualize it better. But uh, I will put it uh, on present. I, I put it in the presentation some uh, shots uh, about our web app then you can visualize it, the entire process. And we decided making it seamless, seamless like you order a, delivery, a food delivery. Then you can recycle head, uh, from headphones to refrigerators and choose uh, to deliver on a store partner or collection, collection at home. You can share your positive impact, like the amount of materials recycled and the CO2 saved, the estimation, uh, with your friends and invited us then to join us. And you will receive rewards in the final of the process uh, to exchange to benef uh, in the benefits or making donations. And okay, now I will move on about the recycling and carbon credits. Uh, this is super cool part that allow us to pay all the chain and reward the customers. And we are seeing here a piece of uh, the, the global e-waste monitor uh, page. Uh, and uh, how you can see a lot of countries in the world right now is creating regulations and policy for recycling. Brazil is one of these countries. Uh, we was leading the, the movement. We have a really good laws for this. And in Brazil, uh, our policymakers decided that each manufacturer is not only about e-waste, a lot of but all solid waste, that you, uh, plastic bottle, everything that could be a uh, waste in, in, in one day, uh, have to follow this, this rule, this law. And they have to prove that they are recycling some amount that will increase per year. This amount is based in a percentage uh, in some year that they put for electronics is 20, uh, 2018. And okay, the amount that the products that was sold in this year 
will be the basis to calculate the percentage that the manufacturers have to recycle in the next years. And this percentage is increased for the next years. And this is the law that we based Gaia to develop it with the Filecoin Green, uh, uh, the recycling credits, uh, using the IPFS to solve some main challenges that we are seeing in our sector now. Then we created this protocol uh, and we want to open for another of materials because it's super similar. We are only keeping the attention about UAC uh, for now because the UAC uh, is almost 2% of the total solid waste in the world, but uh, could represent until 70% in uh, the toxic waste that ends up in the landfill. Then it's super relevant to solve this. But we can open for another materials, but we have to build an entire chain of new partners because they are different, the recyclers is different. But we can open for another areas in the future. And IPFS helps us with a lot of challenges. First of, of one is um, in our field, sometimes uh, they use uh, documents and multiply for any times the results, like the carbon market is super similar. And they say that uh, they recycle some amount, but uh, when you check the facts, it's super, uh, it's less than this amount. Then in Brazil, we have some official platforms that you have to um, uh, put all the information about the recycle recycling and you will get the PDF and once you upload this on IPFS you will get your CID and you can multiply for any times your results. Then we are we are advocating uh, with our government if everybody use IPFS you can solve this problem. This is one main problem. And in recycling, we also have a few, um, sometimes the costs of logistics and the technology to recycle is so expensive that the output uh, of the process, the materials output uh, is um, cheaper than the revenue that you gain. Then we, we have to do all the traceability, but uh, if we can do the traceability with less cost, you'll be amazing. And IPFS delivered this because compared with the traditional cloud options, uh, is reduce our costs by 99%. Then this is amazing too. And we can check it cryptograph cryptographically. Uh, if the um, file is um, trustful or is fake, then we are using IPFS to create it, our impact assets. And this is guaranteeing uh, the results uniqueness and the transparency that we uh, believe that is super important to solve this challenge. And uh, how I say, this is allowing Gaia to pay all partners and reward users. And okay, I will talk a little bit more about the structure, uh, about our recycling credits. In the next steps, we wanted to generate uh, carbon credits because once you recycle it, uh, automatically you are reducing the uh, carbon emissions and we found some certificators to e-waste recycled associated with the carbon credits and but here I am talking more about recycling credits we put uh, all the group of the documents together Marcelo you explain so much better uh, this, but uh, I will give you a, a, a piece of this information here. And 
One uh, thing that's super important is show that uh, the recycling is come uh, from users because one uh, fraud that is happening uh, is some uh, e-waste is coming from illegal market or from big companies, but the government created the law to ensure that people can recycle their old products. And the manufacturers to attend this law have to prove that the products is coming from users, customers. Then Gaia started with this part of the traceability. We had a donation term in our web app and users will sign it, this. And this and the recipes from recycling uh, will be on the IPFS and all the information about the recycler traceability is uh, um, be on the big asset is like a lot of documents that composed this asset. Then we are using CO2 storage to create one unique CID for, uh, that represents all of these documents. Because when we are working with recycling credits, it's not only one document that represented all the information, then we are using uh, the CO2 storage to solve this. But Marcel will explain more details about uh, all the application and how we are integrating Web2 and Web3. Hi, I'm Marcelo from Gaia, Brazil. I'm CTO. I'll try to show you the entire process of integration of our Web2 application and the Web3 using the five point green CO2 storage. But I think a video would perform better than me. Please trust me. Have you ever been confused about how to recycle? It turns out that many of us find the act of recycling as more confusing than filling our taxes. As a result, we do a poor job of recycling properly, with less than 10% of our global resources recycled. We are losing billions of dollars in recyclable material every year. Gaia is using the power of technology to simplify the recycling process to ensure that we recycle more. Gaia Rewards is a marketplace that connects the user e-waste with specialized recyclers and generates recycling and carbon credits by auditing and tracking all processes. We simplify recycling, making it seamless, like ordering a delivery on DoorDash. Users select the items they want to recycle, from headphones to refrigerators, and choose between home collection or drop off a partner stores. For home collection, there is the way of schedule it. Users sign the donation term, which represents the beginning of the traceability process. For orders under 30 kilograms, users are charged a collection fee. Our partners match the user-generated order with the delivered items and issue a delivery confirmation code. With the confirmation code, users can redeem rewards or donate to a cause in Gaia web app. Users can see and share their positive impact, like the amount of materials recycled and the CO2 saved to engage more users. The recycling credit is manifested in a digital asset with all the traceability information on IPFS, Interplanetary File System by Protocol Labs. To create publicly auditable impact assets and to guarantee results uniqueness and transparency. Also, we reduce the traceability storage costs by 99%. Electronic manufacturers buy those credits to offset their recycling goals set out by Brazilian and other countries' laws, which enables Gaia to pay all partners and also reward users. 
Those carbon and recycling credits are sold using NFTs with ERC721 on Ethereum. We help to solve one of the main problems in our market, which is the disconnection between the parts in the chain that is the cause of a lot of inefficiency and fraud. We believe that leveraging recycling is the most impactful tool to combat climate change. As you can see on the video, the bridge between our web app and the, the Filecoin Green CO2 storage happens through an API. It connects and sends all the data about the order that the user has done and the signed uh, donation term. And all of this stuff is compacted on, on using a template on CO2 storage. This is sent as an asset to CO2 storage. So we get a CID, and with this CID, we can, in the near future, um, let's say, that, that collection of CID will compose another great, um, another big asset. Confirm that in, let's suppose, in that year, we recycle tons of material from real users. Thank you. If you need to do some questions, feel free. We see this model. Uh, we did uh, some test scale um, in a small city of uh, Brazil. Um, we did uh, more than 30 tons uh, delivered to UAC recyclers. And when we compared these results with the uh, big brands' um, initia initiatives, we discovered that Gaia was doing more because uh, um, we have some telecommun telecommun telecommunications companies in Brazil that is doing national collection and they can achieve the same results or they is achieving the similar results. Then we understand, okay, Gaia is doing this is in only a small city and we have to grow our services for all of Brazil, then we can do better than big, big brands are, are doing right now. Then this pilot, uh, we did it in a team of two and gave us opportunity to close that deal with the biggest UAST recycler in Latin America. And now we have this goal, the, at these goals, this goal to uh, deliver them uh, fi uh, 50 million kilos in e waste for the next two years. And we are uh, starting growing the Gaia to achieve this goal. And we can't uh, wait anymore because we are seeing in the world things that never happened, like uh, uh, a few weeks ago, almost the uh, entire state of Brazil, is Rio Grande do Sul, was under the water, 95%. This is insane, the images. I won't uh, go ahead, but you can find this video on YouTube, but this is insane. We can't uh, wait anymore because um, we can pretend that the things is not happening. We were solving a lot of things with the greenwashing until now. But the greenwashing can show something that is not true. But the consequences will be here and is here right now. And now we want to, oh, how can, oh, we want to invite it everybody uh, who stay here or everybody who can uh, watch this uh, to join with us for a greener future. We, uh, Marcelo is amazing uh, artist. He will prepare some arts NFTs and we will start uh, raising funds to expand Gaia work all, uh, for all Brazil and we hope for all their countries too because as I say today, this is a world problem.
is not only Brazil, and we wanted to uh, raising more resource to uh, grow as fast as possible because it's not only Gaia problem, it's a world problem, but together we for sure we can we we can change this reality. We have the technology, we have a lot of creating amazing people, and if the information uh, is spread, we can uh, change this reality. And if you uh, want to try our web app, you can scan this QR code, QR code uh, and you can understand and see better how we can do this revolution together to reboot the take, make and disposal model that we can go ahead with this model anymore. We have to have a new uh, circular and regenerative model. And if you want to try, uh, please scan the QR code and we will be here to answer all the questions and to collect the feedbacks, how uh, we can improve our work to uh, engage more people with us to change the future. And thank you so much.